Sometimes the DBA has to answer the question, why is the SQL Server slow? It's nice if the DBA knows exactly what to do to give a qualified answer, if he knows his 1-2-3 routine checks and can provide a solid professional report. The DBA checks, first, if indeed there is a congestion in one of the server resources. There are two major resources to check, CPU utilization level and disk I.O. load. Here we use SQL Server Monitoring Tool, SQL Checkup, to do the checks and to provide the answer in just a couple of minutes. It'll be fun. CPU Utilization. Expand the Server node, Performance Counters node, and click on Windows Counter. Here we see that the CPU utilization is not high, about 20%. It's rather below the baseline. Disk I.O. System. What disk or mount point to check? We can check all of them one by one, but let's assume we know that the users were working against the database operations management. Then we need a few gentle hops to get to the disk counters. We find the database in the list of server databases. Checking the DB files. The data files reside on drive S. Go to the drive details, then to the drive counters. Hmm, not good. We see a hazardous drop in disk percent idle time. Now we know that something causes high disk activity. That harmful something must be in the list of active processes. Clicking on active processes node. We're seeing a process with very high I.O. utilization, the blue column. The process is running a stored procedure, SP update client list, against a database called services marketing. Its current I.O. utilization is very high. That's the culprit. Let's check what drive the database is on. Again, a few gentle hops. The database details. The database files. Here we go. The data file is on drive S. That drive we have found as breathing heavily. So the SB update client list creates congestion on the drive S and all other connections working with the drive experience slowness. Now we can check when the stored procedure started. Again, active processes, traveling back in time. The SB is still the top IO consumer. Okay. We found that the SP started 12 minutes ago, and the disk congestion has been seen ever since. So it's obvious that the stored procedure caused the issue, and the DBA must communicate with the production management. We're not going to talk here about how the situation is handled. Let's assume the DBA's task is just to provide a complete report on what's going on in the server. Then the second major item to check is blocking. More often than not, the users experience a slow response time because their connection is blocked by another connection. Clicking on the Block Processes node, we check if there are blocks currently on the server. Yes, there are. The blocking started at 1.07 p.m. By the way, one of the root blocker is the process running on the same database, Services Marketing. The process 2532 is running slower because of the SB update client list and its turn clauses blocks, so it's like a chain reaction. To see why the stored procedure SP update client list is consuming so much I.O., we can look in the stats of the stored procedure. Take the SP name. Click on query stats and filter by the SP name. Okay. We see two queries of the SB here, and their logical reads per hour are pretty impressive. Let's check the SB execution plan. In two statements of the stored procedure, clustered index scan takes 95% of the execution cost. It smells like an opportunity for optimization. Let's assume the DBA has to provide a report to his manager after the issue has been resolved. He writes, Hi Jason. The SQL Server experienced slowness due to the disk I.O. congestion on the drive S. Copy and paste the chart. You might also paste the numbers regarding the drop in disk idle time.
The congestion was caused by a process running a stored procedure, SP Update Client List, of the application X123. The SP's IO consumption was excessive since 1.01 p.m. Save. And attach the Excel file with a list of active processes and the consumption numbers. Also, the I.O. congestion caused by the SB led to blocking on the system. Save the blocks report to an Excel file. and attach it to the email. The SB's execution plan suggests that it can be optimized. Paste in the execution plan. I'm going to work with the application team to help the SP optimization. Cheers, John. Checking the email, specifying the subject as slowness on the server name, and sending the email. So, we made our checks and sent a detailed report in just a couple minutes. Nice and easy. It is even more challenging to find the reason for the slowness when the issue is actually gone. By the time the complaint reaches the DBA, the server already shows peace and order. So, to investigate, the complaint with SQL Checkup DBA goes back to the specified time frame. Say it was two days ago, and does the same checks. Well, the emergency could be avoided if the DBA set alerts and check the server health, which can easily be done with SQL Checkup. But anyway, knowing the DBA's 1-2-3 steps to check the server's slow complaint is necessary and we showed them in this video. There is much more you can check and learn about your SQL Server using SQL Checkup. You can visit the SQL Checkup website to see more video demonstrations and read about the product's features at www.sqlcheckup.com. Thank you.